originally it was supposed to be four guys. Originally it was supposed to be myself, Curtis, and two other guys, an astronaut and uh, a policeman. They wanted to call the Patriots. And that, that whole idea, that whole character idea, was basically going to be a cartoon. That's what they were thinking for kids. And so that went around the table a zillion times, and finally they just narrowed it down to me and Curtis uh, and wanted to go with the, the WCW Special Forces or the Patriots, as we were called. And it kind of went went to went that way. We, you know, we they brought us out right after Desert Storm. That's where the Army stuff came along, and and the fire breaker chip type of thing. You know, putting mm-hmm. out the fire. So we kind of morphed into those those kind of characters and 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 became the Patriots, WCW Patriots. What did you think about the chemistry with Firebreaker Chip? He's a great guy. Love Curtis to death. He's a, it's so funny you, you brought you mentioned that because the other day I was looking at I, I've been married twice now. He was in my wedding, my second wedding. He was one of my groomsmen. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So he was one of my groomsmen in the wedding, and, and Curtis is a phenomenal guy, great athlete. Um, we we started we gelled right away. We were friends right away. You know, some guys, you know. In the ring, they work, and when they're done, they don't associate. We hung out together, you know, went went everywhere together. I lived in Atlanta. He lived in Charlotte, and I had an apartment downtown in Buckhead, and so he would come to stay with me when we had to fly out of Atlanta and things like that. And so, uh, you know, we became very, 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 very good friends. That's cool, though. Uh, Sometimes tag partners don't care for each other. You know, you'll hear – Weird stories of, oh, we didn't even get along, but you guys are buddies, and he's in your wedding. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I was, you know, it's so funny you say that because I was looking at wedding pictures yesterday because my daughter's getting married, and I was mm-hmm. looking at pictures of him being one of my groomsmen in my wedding, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Great tie-in. I love it. I wonder if people were like, wow, look look at that. The U.S. Patriots are up there. Uh, that's pretty cool <laughs> when you were getting married. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. I, You know, that was, you know, they knew who he was and I was, but it was mostly family and friends. They, at that point, when I was living in Atlanta, um, we were on TV so much, I really couldn't go anywhere um, without being, you know, stopped. I could go to the Waffle House at 2 in the morning and somebody recognized me. I'd go to a restaurant somebody recognized me. I was out and I just uh, had like a week off and I decided to go visit my parents in California. And I'm out, uh, I don't know if you ever heard the Orange Coast Plaza out in Los Angeles, but... Uh, I'm sitting, my mom is shopping, it's about Christmas time, you know, and and I'm sitting there with sweats on and the ball cap, and some kid walks by me, this is in L.A., walks by me like two or three times and stops, looks at me and goes, you're Todd Champion, aren't you? And I said, wow, our, our TV's reaching the West Coast. Yeah. yeah, yeah, awesome. So that was kind of, that's kind of when I knew whatever we're doing is working, because people are recognizing me, even if I try to disguise myself, it's, when you're 310 pounds, it's kind of hard to disguise yourself. But <laughs> he recognized me, and I kind of thought, wow, I, I, you know, you're so busy traveling around that you don't realize, you know, you're on television two or three times on a Saturday, and people watch the shows. And that's, you know, and, and pay-per-views were really taking off. Then cable was taking off. So we were reaching a broader audience. It wasn't regional anymore. It was more national. And people would, would, would pay attention, you know, so – uh, I knew right then that there was something big going on. What did you think of your role with Firebreaker Chip? Because you guys beat the York Foundation, pretty good win. Then you beat the Freebirds for the U.S. Tag Team titles. So, I mean, they right. are putting some stock in you guys. You guys are starting to get a lot of wins. We were kind of shocked it was because that happened pretty quick. We we had the straps within six months of us forming as a, as a tag team. It was pretty fast. Uh, it was a fast push, fast, fast, fast. Everything was push, 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 push. So yeah, it was it was kind of one of those things that, once again, we weren't really aware of you know what was going on. We just knew we had to be there. We had to do our thing, and then we were told you know that night, here's how it's going to go down, and then we just we took it and ran with it, you know, like anybody else would. Gotta love it. They uh, saw something in you guys. Obviously, I mean, you had a lot of su- success very, very quickly. I mean, that's uh, that's got to say a lot of Dusty's kind of faith in you. Um, you know, really kind of paying off. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, you know, Dusty was, uh, you know, he 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 made the magic. I mean, he was the brains behind everything, and and he saw something in me. And Magnum T A and I were really good friends. 
you know, I was actually, I don't know if you remember when Magnum got in his car accident. Yeah, oh, yeah, yep. I was with Magnum TA the night before that happened. I was met him for dinner, and we, he was showing me his Porsche. He'd just gotten that Porsche that he got in the wreck, and he had had it maybe a week. And so, you know, that was a pretty shocking thing when they finally found him on the side of the road. And he was, he'd been in his car for 14 hours before they found him. Oh, my God. And, yeah, because the car hydroplaned on a bridge. Luckily, it wasn't a tall bridge, but it was enough where he hydroplaned off the side of the bridge into the bushes down in, below, and the bushes kind of covered the car. Well, they saw these weird tracks because he wasn't in the office when he was supposed to be, and then we knew something was up. And that's when they found him, you know. And so I went to the hospital and to see him and, and spent some time with him in there. So, uh, you know, it was, it was pretty pretty scary time. 